Hi, hey YouTube, what's up, man? How you doing? It's Joe D. Hey, we're gonna do another beer review, man. Come on and join me. Today's beer is uh, the last one that I that I have received in a beer mail. Uh, it is called Hoptical Illusion. Uh, now this beer is from uh, Blue Blue Point Brewing Company. Uh, from, oof, I can't say the name of that town, it's, oh, what was it, it was, <laughs> anyway, it's from New York City somewhere, around that area, Long Island somewhere, right, it says Long Island on the bottle, uh, it was, it started with a P, and the name escapes me right now, but, sorry, um, this is a 12 ounce bottle. This will be the only review I'll be doing from these people because I cannot get this in my area. Hence, that's why it was sent to me. <laughs> okay. So, I love the cap though. They, they, they really are following through with this whole uh, illusion uh, look. And uh, I like the labeling on the bottle and stuff. It's kind of cool. Um... It is an American Indian Pale Ale, uh, 6.8% ABV, and the IBUs are 60, so I expect this to be, yeah, maybe like a medium hop bite to it. Um, I, uh, let's see, oh yeah, let's see, it was, I'll be using my Kona Brewing Glass, um, sorry. <laughs> That's what I'll be using. Um, so you can use a standard pint glass or a mug is what they recommend. But, you know, use use whatever you want just as long as it's a glass. You know what I'm saying? If you can avoid it, please avoid drinking out of the bottle. Um, and, and as I was trying to say before, this was sent to me by T-Salts. Uh, his username is T-Salts, uh, which is Barry. His real name is Barry. Um... And you can reach him at uh, youtube.com slash user slash t-salts. Okay, that's his page. Um, it, you know, the one big beef I have with Blue Point Brewing already is their website. Their website was driving me nuts. Okay, so hence I didn't do as much uh, research as I could have because... You ever like gone to a YouTube, someone's YouTube page, and they've just got this music playing, and you can't stop the crap no matter what you do. You can stop it, and then it it keeps going again, and then it stops, and you can it, it drives you nuts. That's the way their website is. So, uh, you know, go there with caution. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll 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 post the uh, picture of the website up there, but. Um, it, it was very hard for me to get through that website, I'll, I'll tell you right now. But on Beer Advocate, okay, there's 306, uh, 376 reviews. This beer got a B-plus overall. So I expect it to be okay, but not like knocking it out of the park. Um, <clears throat> so as I showed you before, we've got the uh, pint glass standard bottle opener. Stay up, man, stay up. And we've got a towel for emergencies, man. We don't want, you know, we don't want, uh, you know, any any emergencies happening, bro. And, you know, sometimes beers, they, they, they just do things on their own, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, here we go, man. Let's see what kind of smoke we get out of Blue Point Brewing. Here we go. Oh, it was a twist cap. <laughs> I did not expect that. I'm sorry, I didn't even snap to the smoke, man. That smoke was probably okay. I'll have to take care of that on the editing. Struggling to get ahead out of this beer. I had to go a little more aggressive on the pour towards the end. I wish I'd have snapped at that. How many small craft brewers actually make twist caps, man? Other than the big micros, so... I'd ne I, I would have never even thought to look. In any case, tons of carbonation in there. Check that out. Look at that carbonation in the middle of that beer. Y you know, y you have some stuck to the sides of your glass depending on, on how you clean yours. 
but look at the middle and you can just see all the carbonation you can see the big bubbles in the head okay towards the top there uh, and from the top it looks like a it looks spongy uh, is the is a good way to ex uh, describe it you look at a sponge uh, and and that's kind of what this beer looks like lots of big bubbles in there mm, it's got a surprisingly mild but yet sweet hoppy smell uh, nice little mixture of uh, hop and uh, like a, a kind of a bready malt uh, uh, smell going on in there little citrus I guess a little fruit can't really make out the fruit but little citrus smell mm. Oh, I didn't say. They do recommend this beer be served 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So, but <clears throat> as you can see there, it is a very clear beer. Very, very clear. Um, the head is pretty much gone. <clears throat> and it's pretty much like a, pretty much a light to a medium bodied uh, beer. Mm. It, uh... It has a nice, um, you know, it's not really that hoppy. Uh, for for a, an IPA with 60 IBUs, you would expect it to have some bite, and it really doesn't. Mm. It's good. It's real smooth. It, you know, you could drink a but if you end up liking this, huh? I'm I'm having a hard time with this because it something that's called optical illusion. You're expecting, you know, like, you know, some big bite out of this thing, and I'm not getting that. Um, it's good. It's smooth. Hmm. As I'm killing it, right? It's smooth, but it's I'm not getting that like I'm expecting. Now I realize 60s not a 90 or 80 or even a hundred. Some beers are 120 for Christ's sake. Okay, I realize that, but still, I was expecting a little bit more of a hot bite, and I'm not getting it. So it's a little disappointing. So I'm gonna give it one thumb, but of if I could give it half a thumb, I would, okay? This, I'm a little disappointed with this one. <clears throat> I just want to get that across to you. Um, I'm not, uh, even if I could buy this in my area, I don't know necessarily that I would. Just because for me personally, when I'm, when I'm ready for an IPA, I want an IPA with some bite. Now, if if you are one of those those that likes a milder IPA, still something with a little hot presence to it, but just uh, you know a milder one, this might be the one for you. So uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm giving this a one thumb, but if I give it half a thumb, <laughs> I would. Okay, man. You guys check it out for yourself. Peace. We'll see you.